Hi, my name is Dex and today we're going through on how we can actually change the number of decimal points in auto count accounting. So most of the time our clients that would like to change this number of decimal points will be clients that actually sell their products in weightage. Alright. So let's say example in here I have stock, stock item maintenance. Alright. So let's say I have one product called chicken. So chicken we all know that it's always sold in kg. So when we sell it, we cannot just sell one chicken is exactly one kg because some chicken can be 1.25 kg, 1.3 kg and so on. Alright, so for this example, we will see how we can change, change the number of decimal points to three decimal points. Alright, so to do this, we need to come to tools here under options. Then we here have one called decimal points. So you can see here quantity decimal. Alright, so let's say for example, I want to change to three decimal points. I put here three. And if I want to fix the number of decimal size, means it's saying that at any point of time, it will always show me three decimal points, I will tick it here. Of course, quantity is not just the only few that we can adjust. The following here can be also be adjusted according to what you require. All right. So let's say we want to run a test now, press OK. So let's say we want to generate invoice, we come to invoice, where's my invoice, invoice here. Okay, so let's say I select my customer, then I select the item. So let's say example, this is chicken. So now you can see the quantity is now showing three decimal points. So I can put 1.25 and I put the $8 per kg. The system automatically calculate for me. So you can see we put fixed. So that's why it's showing three decimal points. All right. So this is how simple you can actually change the number of decimal points auto count. Do let us know if you have a topic that you like us to cover. Thank you.